Hello, young wizard. Have you heard about jewel socketing? It is the nearly lost art of adorning items with magical stones. An artisan named Catherine Rockhammer has opened a workshop in the shopping district to teach people about jewel socketing and crafting. I've already told Catherine all about you, and she's anxious to meet. Go speak with her when you get a chance. Oh, and tell her I say hello. Hello, welcome to Rockhammer's Jewel Works, the mother load of all... Oh, you must be that remarkably... Magical jewels are extraordinary crystals you can affix to certain items to infuse them with unique statistical enhancements. We call this jewel socketing. Allow me to demonstrate with this cracked accurate opal jewel and this athay. We'll start by opening the socketing page of your spellbook. The socketing page is where you'll physically affix your jewels into the special slots called sockets on your socketable items. Jewels have distinct shapes that only fit into corresponding sockets. Socketable items come with varying numbers and shapes of sockets. Now, notice that our Athame only has a triangle socket. Lucky for us, our cracked Acura Opal is a triangle cut. It's a perfect fit! And voila! Our Athame has now been imbued with the magic of the cracked Acura Opal, which gives us an accuracy stat boost in a jewel! Quick and easy, right? Now, before I turn you loose to start socketing yourself, I have one last important nugget for you. Each jewel can only be placed into a socket once. Although you can remove a jewel from a socket, it shatters the jewel completely. But you can affix a new jewel into that same socket. That way, you can continually improve your most useful items. Well, that's the core of jewel socketing. If you ever need a refresher, feel free to reference my jewel socketing. And here, take this athame and this opal and give socketing a try yourself. You've seen how easy it is. Are you? Of course, jewels can certainly be found in treasure troves, lost. However, you can also craft your own jewels, as there are many kinds of jewel craft. You'll need metal, which you can find throughout the spiral, a gem, which you can find or purchase from a vendor, and a treasure card. And of course, you need a jewel crafting station. When you craft a jewel, there's an element of randomness in the process, and you may get a more or less powerful result. For instance, if you use the same ruby recipe three times, you could craft three rubies with three different damage values. Now, because I want everyone in the spiral to enjoy jewel crafting as much as I do, I'm going to give you a jewel. All you need now is a jewel crafting recipe. I can't wait to hear about the jewels you craft and socket. Good luck!